My dad always told me, you're only as smart as the sum of the people around you. Well, Sneeko's in trouble. We got Pearl, a woman who says women love to be cheated on. I swear to God, this show has made me believe I think women like to be cheated on. Aiden Ross, a Jewish man whose audience is filled with people that hate Jews. This kid just said, I like my Jews cooked medium rare. F you, bro. That's a weird ass comment, bro. Sneeko, a mixed race individual who agrees that race mixing is degenerate. So I'm saying I'm against race mixing. These are all things which I would They're consider both degenerate. wrong. They're yeah. Both degenerate. And, and fresh and fit. Guys that act like they know so much about relationships while rambling off childlike worldviews. It's global. Versus it's not global for 99% of people. A girl yeah. going in Kansas City is not getting flown out to Dubai. Yeah, she is, bro. No, no. 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 Hey, you guys are nice. Wild. Yeah. I guarantee you, somebody can watch Oh yeah, it's a bunch of masochists. This is gonna be kinky. I'm not a very political person. I don't do right, left. I'm more of a doesn't make sense kind of guy, and none of them make sense. Take Twinko for example. He recently went on Aiden Ross's stream, clickbaiting a debate with Charlie, even though a debate was never set up, and then he just claimed he won. I don't think I'm gonna get more critical. I don't think he's he's gonna be opening to do that, bro. He didn't reply to me uh, when I hit him. He's ducking, man. He's ducking, bro. I mean, if you duck a fight, that's one thing. Ducking a debate after making a, a video. When I'm banned on YouTube. Like, people are saying, oh, he owned you, he I, owned you. I'm gonna be honest. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, Sneeko. Sneeko, he owned you. Just take your L. Sneeko then leaked this DM from Charlie thinking it looked good. Sneeko tweets, commentary channels fence it so they never get canceled and rely on drama for AdSense dollars. Nobody fence that. In fact, everyone chose to dumpster you. That's why I'm nominating you, Sneeko, for a Nobel Peace Prize. You've successfully united the internet against your dumbassery. And in the DMs he leaked, Charlie wrote, Hey man, can you please calm down with these meltdowns for another week? I'm doing another merch drop and would love to continue to use you for those. He thinks leaking this is an own. The guy is so dumb, he wants to move to Dubai while simultaneously complaining about censorship. Ever consider moving to Saudi Arabia, ironically? <laughs> Unironically, I think uh, Dubai seems like a good place to live. Where are we? If you and think Iman. leftists are bad when it comes to censorship, how the fuck could you live in a society that's like Islamist, like where they like kill people for saying the wrong shit? Like if you think it's bad, you can't like- I think it's better to follow people. God than to follow woke. So then you don't care about lefty censoring shit or whatever. You just think they censor the wrong stuff. You're pro-censorship. You're pro-oppression. No, I'm not pro-censorship. So if you could choose a free liberal society that's godless, or a theocratic society. Live in the God society, society any day. That you live, you what? I would live in the God society any okay, day. Okay, sure. So then you don't care as much for the freedom of speech. The irony with this guy is too much. He wants free speech for him. His beliefs. That's it. It's hilarious how unself-aware he is. However, Sneeko does not stand alone. There's a whole gang of red pill creators on the rise taking some of the most booger-eating stances. Sitting on the back porch eating boogers. Fresh and Fit, Pearl, Aiden Ross, all of these people will say the dumbest shit as if it's fact, and it will be applauded by thousands of people. Pearl is one such person who has gained massive popularity through street interviews. It's basically just her asking contradicting questions and then feeling smart when people are caught off guard by them. Would you say when we when a dad abandons his child, he's a deadbeat dad? Oh, you are abandoning your child. Of course, yeah. Oof, of course. So why is it when a woman abandons her child, we call it the right to choose? You mean with abortion? <laughs> choose what, fam? <laughs> Uh, no, no, if she has an abortion, we call it the right to choose. Oh, ooh. So she's a, she's abandoning her no, kid. No, the, the, the child's not born yet, but... But it's still a child, right? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, sticky one still. <laughs> in her street interview, she comes off as relatively well put together, but the instant you get her on a podcast where you could actually press her on what she believes, her demeanor completely changes. She will continually say that women like to be cheated on and then act confused when pressed. I actually think that, like, women like to be cheated on. Huh? <laughs> do you just... really believe that most women like being cheated on? I think I do. I didn't before I started the show. Uh, okay. I did it before I started the show, and then I, I just had the same... Because it's like I just start to meet the same people over and over again. I'm just like, I, this was a pattern. Okay. Did any of them tell you they liked being cheated on? I mean, they didn't say that, but their actions... It's like, it's like their actions showed it. Do you think women like being abused? A lot of women like to stay in abusive relationships. So do they like it because they stay there? <sighs> um... See, I feel like this is like a trap question. It's like a trap. It's like this do is what they do. They think try to trap you. Like to be addicts. Well, because you're because basically they make saying the choice here's, to do the You drugs. know, honestly, I think some addicts do. <laughs> I do. No, this is. I have, I, have, I have relatives that are addicts. Oh. And it's like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. They they freaking they All just right. keep doing the same thing over and over again. Based. Okay. It's such a dumb comment. Even Andrew Tate has to stop and correct her. I swear to God, this show has made me believe I think women like to be cheated on. Women love the idea of bragging about the man they're with, mm -hmm. but they can only brag about the man they're with if other women want that man. So you're saying you love women who get cheated, women love getting cheated on. That's not true. But women do not like men that other women don't want. 
Mm-hmm. If you were to say, look, I got my man, he's perfect, he's rich, he did it, did it, and every girl in the room would go, I would never touch him. She'd be like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't want him either then. What the fuck but is you know, She's constantly saying absurd shit about what a woman really wants, when in reality, she doesn't even want a guy like that. She's just saying it to say it. Women love selfish men, though. Most oh, my problem. God. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just- I want to even, like, what? Like, oh, you just, you just, like, say the uh, randomest, most, like, what is, like, the dumbest, so wrongest it's opinion? Just... Yeah, would you be with a selfish guy? Do you like I've been, that? yeah. I don't, why do you keep saying, I've been with you? are not anymore. <laughs> okay, right? Make it make sense. Pearl, name one woman who's happy in a relationship, but gets constantly cheated on and is with a guy who's selfish. The only people she refers to are people that are no longer in that relationship. Like, women aren't going to be okay with their guys cheating on them. I don't know what else to say. Like, it's, it's so I obvious. I just think if that was true, so. Every girl I ask this on the show uh-huh. wouldn't 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 stay and then leave later. It's just quite odd. True. I think quite the same odd. about abused women all the time. I've heard her say someone coming out as gay is the same as them wanting to be black. If my son came home from school one day and said to me, "Look, mum, I'll be honest with you, I I think I'm gay," I would take it on what and if, I'd, I'd be open. What if your What if your What if your son came home and said, "I think I'm black"? <laughs> <laughs> She's dead serious. The YouTube shorts version of this clip is titled Pearl Owns Feminist. Pearl, if a guy wants to bang other men, he's gay. If someone wants to transition, they're trans. And if someone wants to switch race, they're Sammy Sosa. Or my personal favorite, Whoa Vicky. Yes, my birthday is March 7th, but July 19th, when I turned 18, I was born. Yeah, it's my birthday. My mom kept telling me, you're white, you're white. I never believed her because I knew I was black. If God is real, this will be Pearl's kid. There is so much delusion in this red pill space when it comes to relationships. For instance, on Fresh and Fit, they think 50% of college women have been flown out to Dubai by rich men. It's global. Versus it's the, not it, global for 99% of people. A girl yeah. going in Kansas City is not getting flown out to Dubai. Yes, yeah, she is, bro. No. 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 Today, <laughs> you guys are nice. Yeah. Wild. Yeah. I you guys you are somebody wild. Give tonight. You're coping, man. Well, I just want to hear, for, for the record, yeah. for you three to answer this, Uh-oh. what percentage of college women do you think are being flown around the world to fuck? Very I want to hear little. from all if three of you. If I had to argue, little. I want to hear. Off of, like, probability-wise, if I had to argue, maybe, like, 30, 40, 50? Holy not shit. He thinks 50%? Only 30% of Americans own passports. I can't think of a single college woman who did that. Okay, say it's a state school in Iowa. Are those girls getting flown to Dubai? Uh, Off season, they they can be. Okay, 30, 30, 40%, is that what you said? Well, globally speaking, but I'm just saying, like, for example, if that, you understand that's a the, the actual number is like less than 0.1 percent, right? Of girls getting flown out. Of girls getting yeah. flown out to fuck guys from college, normal Very girls. Little. Very little. It's very, very little. Very <laughs> I'm from Vegas and it's now very little. Little. I've never done that. Have you, have you ever been flown out? No, 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 no. You've never been flown out? They literally can't believe that most women haven't been flown around the world by rich men for sex. Sneeko's shocked. How are they giving relationship advice when they have no idea what the average woman is like? Well, firstly, the cool. average, like, decently hot chick on a college campus does not have guys from all over the world in her DMs. That's an exceptional person. That's, that's, not, the, that's not the she average does. person. She does. That's not the average person. How they view relationships is so imbalanced. It's no surprise they can't find a good woman. Girls should be cleaning. I don't give a fuck. Call me a sexist. Women should be fucking cleaning. If you come into my house and something is off, fix it. Clean. Well, because let me tell you something. I'm not going to think twice if we're out in public and someone fucking assaults you. I'm going to do something, right? Yeah. I'm going to, oh, got to be a guy. Got to protect her because I'm here with this girl. So you better clean every day. And then on the off chance that you get assaulted, he'll help you out. Well, thanks, bro. I hope so. But bitch, if you forget to do the dishes one time, I'm leaving your ass on the streets. It's only even. This is how he views relationships. If our house gets broken into, I got it. But you better cook, clean, and suck dick when I tell you to. Earlier in the show, we asked you ladies, would you be content with a man stepping out and having sex with other women? All of you were pretty much like, no, you will not accept that. However, you will not pleasure him when it doesn't convenience you. Hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. What? If we ro- if someone robbed the house and I left you there okay. to deal with it, mm. you would break up with me the next day. You would divorce me. You'd be like, what the fuck? What I'm saying is that men should feel the same way when a girl doesn't want to give them sex. This guy acts like somebody breaks into your home every day. It's like, yeah, if you're in a sexless relationship, odds are there's a deeper problem there, man. He describes sex as a transaction. It's like the least sexy thing ever. I don't think if a woman is telling her man, no, I don't want to have sex, no, I don't want to have sex, and he's doing those things, like purposely trying to put her in the mood, kissing on her, I think then that's a problem. But if you're Mm -hmm. coming home and you're just like, hey, 
I need you to do it. <clears throat> yeah. And, mm-hmm. and then, oh, she doesn't want to give it to you. And oh, well, why aren't you giving it to me? Now I'm going to exactly. go see the girl next door. But it's like you didn't even try to put me in the mm-hmm. situation. It, th- he doesn't have to, though. Well, like, like, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go a step further. Your pleasure is irrelevant. I'm going to say it. I am going to say it. Your pleasure is irrelevant. Because, why? It, because here's the thing. <laughs> because let's keep it a stack. We, we're going to have this conversation. Let's do it. Women never treat sex as what it is. What is sex? It's basically a handshake, right? Equal value exchange. Women never treat it like that. What women do is they treat sex as a value loaded exchange. Equal value exchange. Dude makes it sound like he can't pleasure a woman. He then goes on to say that most guys have their shit together and that their paycheck will provide for everything. What about for guys, I'm paying half the bills, blah, 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 whatever. Yeah, that's an average guy. But most guys like that have their shit together, whatever. They're gonna cover everything, and so what I'm Miami, saying is most that most guys don't have their shit together. Yeah. Right. Well, we're talking, we're, we're talking about, about guys top, that have their shit together. This man is a celebrity paying all the bills for his wife and supporting her, yeah. and she ain't doing it. Wow. That's the problem. We're not talking about average guys that do 50-50. Listen, you want to do that 50-50 stuff? Then yeah, cool. That's negotiable. But most guys, like guys that have their shit together financially and are like a little bit more dominant, they're not pussies. Yeah, they're not going to tolerate that BS. So the advice they give on this podcast is only for rich celebrities, even their own moderators roasting them. So we talking about Drake. They live in fantasy land so far from reality. Most families are two income households. Don't be fooled. They're the delusional ones. Now we already know these aren't the smartest people, but what drives me crazy is how they pick and choose statistics to cite. Empirical evidence is important, and luckily the red pillars fully respect that. I'm talking you. about the average guy. I'm talking about statistics. Yeah, so what girls do, because a lot of other girls probably feel the same way and they're just not going to say it because they don't want to, you know, stand on their beliefs. But what I've come to realize is when a girl says who hurts you or whatever, it's a self-defense mechanism is, well, who hurt you? Because you're stating these facts that don't make me feel good, even though they're facts. <laughs> this is all based on your feelings. There's no facts in it. My only problem is they don't bring that same energy when the facts don't favor them. In a debate between Sneeko and Hunter, Sneeko similarly brings up suicide rates and men's mental health. Hunter then shows a study. It's a, it's a dumb way to argue to go and do homework before this and list a bunch of articles that back up what you're saying, because I could do the exact same thing. Maybe you but should. But there's no point. There's no point in engaging in a conversation like that. <laughs> like The fact that you think bringing up articles makes you a better person it's just this is ultimately this this is not going to get any place because if you if you garner your self-esteem by doing studies then i'm not going to convince you that's because not how I'm i doing... garner my self-esteem but i do think that as far as this engagement goes that's what you said. i'm definitely better because again i have data that backs up my claims i don't just have my friend said this dude it's, that's my data too. He's so spineless. When a woman argues with a study he cites, well, they're just living in delusion. If you don't like reality, then just keep living in delusion. Thing. But when he's refusing to accept the facts, it's because studies and statistics are now lame. Because I, the internet is so large, there's a study that's going to back up whatever you believe. What I believe I could find, if I Googled right now, I could find you the same amount of articles saying the same thing. That's a waste of time to do this. Uh, yeah, this is this and is if your you think problem. It, is that if it's you think not a waste of time. The dichotomy is so funny. He goes from max confidence to squirming like a worm. And this is what I don't like about bot arguments is they think that pulling up some studies that back up exactly what they're saying means that it's true, but that's just as anecdotal as talking to people and figuring it out. Because the internet is so large and there's every type of information. You, it's anecdotal to select those websites and those studies and say this is the truth. That's just as anecdotal as me having a conversation. This, no, it's not. I don't think you know what anecdotal means. It means like a personal experience. A personal experience. It's yeah, your it's personal experience. It's not anecdotal experience. that 985,000 people were engaged in a survey tracking from the ages of 16 to 45 in 48 different countries. And then they analyzed all of that data and found that women on average have lower levels of self-esteem. You don't even know what, how they conducted the study. You, can you don't read even about know it. what they and also, why would this is This is the cope. This is, you are coping right now. You went from... I don't trust the data to, well, anybody can get a study for anything to, well, they probably just did the study wrong. You're in like the they three can, stages done of the cope study. right now. It's not coping. It's coping. You were coping. But it's not just Sneeko. It's all of them. They all talk about how if you want to get laid, you got to make six figures. It's absurd because most people will never make six figures. But I don't know. Uh, do you have a better solution? I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, for sure. It's to find women that like value and appreciate you for things other than your wallet. Other than because, your like, wallet. Of the people that are watching right now, less than 10% of them will ever go on to earn six figures. Well, My maybe friend. the YouTube audience. Maybe this is a not Disney. Like, this is the real, real life. No, no. I'm talking about the real life. You're talking about Disney. No, no, no. When you talk about like, when you talk about this is what high value 
Disneyland do? That's mm. Disney World. Yep. We can do whatever the fuck we want and What's get the anything average we want. income of a man? What, what, yeah, you guys 40K. 40K. So, yeah. why, so why are you giving advice for a guy making over 250K when, when we know that the average guy is going, going there? there. Yeah. Yeah. To make that, you know what? I, I, we're literally saying don't listen to Destiny, even though he's stating a fact. Pearl is the only one I have faith in because at least she admits when she doesn't know what she's talking about. I just feel like like studies will tell you water isn't wet. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you keep saying that. It's this is like the it's like something that somebody's never read a study before says like well a study will tell you anything no it won't studies by reputable sources published in reputable journals that have repeatable results don't just say anything that's not true if that was true how would we make any progress scientifically at all in anything ever do you think that medicine has gotten better largely as like time has gone on mm -hmm. do you think that like cars have gotten better largely as time has gone on mm -hmm. Okay, if all of society is improving and all of it's on the back of research and studies, then it's probably the case that studies don't just say anything. They're probably pointing in like some direction. Now, a study can be wrong, right? This has happened. The Lancet is a very uh, is a very prestigious journal, and that's where the original vaccines have autism study was published, right? So yeah, yeah I mean like I'm, I'm but, not gonna say I'm an expert in studies. Okay, sure. I just I'm not I'm not that smart. Yes, this is the red pill, huh? The truth. It may look like medicine, but it is pure copium. Oh. Why I feel like shit. I will not see a therapist. I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to notice a pattern here. Myron from Fresh and Fit talks about what it takes to be in a happy relationship, but isn't in one. Sneeko is a mixed race individual that advocates that mixing race is degenerate. Pearl is a woman who thinks women like to be cheated on. Like, what happened to you guys? Have some self respect. One thing my last video went into is what Sneeko means by the truth. And what he means by that is that he thinks Jews run everything. Of course, the Jews have a lot of control over media, banks, most industries, real estate. Yes, the red pill is just the truth. That a specific group of people pull the strings and we are lied to about most things so that we are kept controlled. This came from slowly being indoctrinated by Nick Fuentes, a man who half his personality is Jewish conspiracies. That, that's, that's a huge part of the problem globally is, is shadow banking. And who's behind it? Well, <laughs> we talked about a Sneeko, a lot of Jews. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now I see Sneeko slowly bring Pearl into the conspiracy as well, casually alluding to it. She kind of reminds me of me before I watched this stuff for a year. So she's, she's going to be soon talking about Hollywood and who runs the banks pretty soon. Pearl just sits there and gets abused, doesn't object to anything. No offense, but women are extremely slow at talking. They're like, um, well, I feel like... And then you have to get past them talking about themselves. I always have to watch this sped up because, they, yo, it takes you guys so long to get to the point. Oh, look, 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 women are just so boring, Pearl. I could make it work. Your okay. gender's boring. If you absolutely had to. Yeah, yes. I know. Okay. Then there's Aiden Ross, who's probably the most self-hating Jewish guy I've ever seen. He just sits there and watches Nick Fuentes spew hateful rhetoric. And at the end of the day, you know what else has got to go in a Christian society? Like, this is crazy, bro. Well, that. <laughs> Like who scream? Who goes to this pet rally and screams the Jews, chat? Okay. This, is a, this is a big one. This is a big one, okay? And this is gonna be the controversial one, but this is the one. Chat in this chat, be honest. How many of y'all would go to this shit? Be honest. This is the only one. Y'all are weird as fuck. Jesus in the world. It's not, not true. Not Hinduism, not Islam, not Buddhism. But the other thing that's got to go in there. The public life at the highest levels is this Talmudic Judaism. They're he's so weird, bro. The same day Aiden would confront Nick Fuentes, Nick would then say that most Jewish hate crimes are fake, as if there's any proof to back that up. I'm looking at these hate crimes to, by different religions, and uh, anti is uh, number one with 683. Could you care to explain? Well, yeah. As far as um, hate crimes go, what you actually find is that one, a lot of hate crimes are hoaxes, like Jesse Smollett. That's a famous example. Aiden then just agrees with him, doing no farther research because Nick cited one fake hate crime. And his chat goes wild for Nick. Yeah, I, I, you know, it's just all these fucking social media people, they all read these scripts and they all listen to people, you know, the higher ups. But yeah, dude, the media uh, prepper, um, they prepper, they prepper edit, they perpetuate the fake news for their agenda. I just don't understand it. They perpetuate. Yeah, you, I agree. You're totally right. Aiden then forgets why he called Nick at all and just pogs out about Kanye. If, if you and Ye, you know, I know you guys are still thinking about running for the 24. Do you guys want me a part of the team, man? I can't speak for him. I'll join. But I, um, but I know that he is, you are one of the most popular creators for the youth. Nobody can debate that. 
what you've done is unbelievable with kick. You're one of the biggest stars in the world. And, you know, Ye is concerned about the youth. Like, the youth are the future. Like, he, he wants to get ideas from young people. So I think he's totally open to that. I don't want to speak on his behalf, but... You know, I think it would be a good idea. So hopefully we can make that happen. This is pathetic. I don't want to pick on Aiden too much. He seems like somebody you could convince to believe anything. Well, I, th it was interesting because I think there's a quote from Hitler saying OnlyFans is the second Holocaust. And he said that before he even did the first one. So I'm sure you'd agree with that at least, right? Wait, Hitler said OnlyFans is the Holocaust? The second Holocaust. How did Hitler know? How did Hitler know what OnlyFans Yeah, I know. That's crazy, huh? This guy is a booger eater. I've seen him pick his nose and hack up the brain cells he swallows more than most toddlers. He's a booger eating kind of guy. Okay, show me where he said something about uh, Hitler said OnlyFans is going to be the second Holocaust. Please show me where he said that. It was in the second version of my month, but I think that ISIS burned that down when they invaded Germany last. What the fuck? There's a second yeah, but he'd written it. There was only one version because he'd written it when he was in that fucking bunker before he killed himself. Yeah, damn. You'd think Aiden was playing dumb? I originally did, but he's not. I have a lot to say about Aiden. He's somehow dumber than Sneeko, but that'll have to be for another day. So what do I think about the red pill? Well, like most politics, they really try and resonate with angry, desperate people, and in this case, it's single, heartbroken guys. First, they resonate with their insecurities, then they shit talk women, then they get pulled into these crazy conspiracies. You can see it with Aiden Ross. He was just a normal, edgy dude, and then he got dumped, and Andrew Tate was the only one to hear him out. It's a cup of shit. Why'd she leave you? Why did she want to leave you, Aiden? I mutually agreed with her. It's over. And she- Why did she- no, I didn't say you- Why did she want to leave you? I was staying, sleeping till 8 p.m., doing nothing, eating like shit, fucking not doing shit. So I was like, this shit, I'm not bringing her with me. I'm not doing that. So you're acting like a loser and that's why she wanted to leave you. Exactly. Sure, I'll take accountability. Okay, so, 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 that, so we're getting there. Yeah. You were acting like a loser and that's why she wanted to leave. Okay. What did you want that she didn't want? Me, I just wanted to kind of like seclude myself and I wanted to find myself because I'm, I'm lost and I wanted to find myself and I feel like I wanted to find myself. This guy needs a helmet. So you agree with me, you are lost. You're a lost yes, soul. Yes, 100%, yes. And now he's doing this. <clears throat> Don't move fat ass. Hold on, I'm about to come on all of your fat fucking hippo fucking face. Spurging out about how Tate's gonna love him when he gets out of jail. Andrew Tate's gonna be proud of me when he gets out of jail. I'm being myself. I'm not gonna suck someone's dick. I'm gonna be Aiden Ross. I'm going back to being me. I'm gonna go back to the real Aiden. Fuck everyone else and fuck everyone has a problem with that shit. Yes, I'll be in the gym. Yes, I'll be doing this. Yes, I'm gonna drink alcohol. I wanna drink alcohol. Yes, I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I wanna do. The dude's so far gone, he wants to be part of Kanye's campaign. The point is, forget the red pill, forget the blue pill, because right now we need a big dose of common fucking sense. Because it don't feel so common right now. Shout out to Destiny for debating all these guys and actually engaging in the conversation. I couldn't have made this video without him. And shout out to the homies over on Patreon. Phoebes, Crimson Glass, Zombie Fox, Riveter, Christina Vina, Detective Pika, Mac Monkey, Drink Kobex, Bo Blacks, Necro Valley, Stefan Bildman, Abby Blackbird, The Confusing Opinion, Matt Swanson, Eddie Bizzle, Eli, and the mega homies. Reynolds Hughes, Hellison, IGP, Jason Johnson, Your Taxi, Lashky Gothboy, Free Spirit Katie, Lore Reloaded, Papa Gut, Evan Do Things, and Addy Chris. Thank you guys for everything. It means a lot. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and until next time. <laughs>